My name is Maureen Kesnowski. I teach fourth grade at Southwood Elementary in Kentwood. Raise your hand if you remember what an adaptation is. Um, Gabe. Well today I had a lesson on adaptations and fossils and how fossils and models help us understand adaptations of prehistoric animals and also of existing animals today. We started out with uh, talking about adaptations and, and what they were. Then the students were told to imagine themselves as junior paleontologists and that they were in Montana and they had found a big collection of fossils. The students were color coded in groups and they would go to that table and try and put the pieces together of the model and figure out what they are. Now we didn't tell them ahead of time that it was a dinosaur, that it was a T-Rex, we just said it was fossils that they found as paleontologists. So their job was to go back and work with their group to try and put the pieces together in a way that made sense. So that was their job. I give you the clue sheet, okay? See if you can work on it about five more minutes, and then I'll bring the clue. Move things around a little bit, see what you can find. They were using their knowledge of adaptations to try and put these things together. And then as the things became more and more, they would look around the room and figured out that they were putting together one big dinosaur. We need the tail part. Oh, here we go. We need the tail part. Yeah! Got it! Does that help? So being part of this experimental lesson, I've learned a lot about myself, <laughs> learned a lot about my kids. I was thrilled with the fact that they had to struggle and that they worked through it. I think in the fall with this lesson it would have been a little more difficult with this group, but the fact that they had to work together, the fact that they struggled with it, the opportunity to come back together and talk about their struggles and, and what they could do to make it better next time or to work at and then send them back off to do more work, that was very powerful. The Geek Group. Um, lesson really enhanced the whole idea of adaptation. We can figure out how much food it can hold, so we know how often it would have to fill its belly in order to maintain that energy level. We have fossilized dinosaur poop. Yeah. From a dinosaur, this definitely isn't from a Tyrannosaurus, but this is an example of a culture like. Now we know, as we learn and get more and more fossils, and more, put more and more models together, the better we're able to figure out what they're doing. When we look at a modern ground bird, we see this sort of suspension system in their thighs that helps them walk and balance easily. So I'm going to leave this up here and we're going to put this um, dinosaur together. Anytime a student talks outside of their classroom about what they're learning, or teaches someone outside outside of the classroom, it's going to stick. They're going to own that knowledge. They will definitely remember that they put together a T-Rex, that a T-Rex eats meat, and they know that because of the big giant teeth and the huge jaw that they were able to put together, and those goofy toes that they put on backwards twice that they had to figure out. It's hard to make that connection until you can really look at things like the feet and how similar they are, and the small hip and how they it helps them run, and. Um, all those things, by looking at that and putting those things together, it definitely enhances science education. Three, two, one, last picture. Dinosaur rock! Nice job. All right, future exits The Geek Group was great. They were very willing to let me come down and help in the beginning, so that was very nice to be able to put it together with somebody. Very good about working around my schedule and their schedules. They came in after school or they stopped in and brought things down. That was really nice to work with. They have just a wealth of knowledge. I mean, I love teaching, but I'm not a physicist and I'm not a dinosaur expert, and while I can read and learn as much as I can, uh, the, the depth of their knowledge is just so great. It's just a, such a great resource for me as a teacher to have that and they're so willing to come in and, and work with us and with our kids that I think that's really, that's a really good resource to have. 
The Geek Group lesson is really complete. It's got the step-by-step -step instructions. It has the worksheets that it, you can use for inferences and adaptations. It has your exit ticket. All of that is all ready. It has obviously the dinosaur, which is, isn't nearly as heavy as it looks. And because it's all complete, I can take it, I can read through it, play with it a little bit, and I'm ready to go. Um, it's not something I have to go out by myself, develop, try and bring in some hands-on because nobody's going to lend me any dinosaur fossils to bring into the classroom. You can't bring dinosaur fossils into the classroom, but you can bring models and, and, and that makes it powerful for the students. Learning has to be fun. I mean, that's the point. We, we want them to learn, but we want them to enjoy it too because when they have fun and they enjoy it, they remember it better. So this is, an, is a fun lesson. Um, it's an interesting lesson. It's not a very difficult thing to do. I'm teaching adaptations in reading and I'm teaching adaptations in the classroom, but this is a great culminating event because it takes everything that they've read about and we've done other little games and different things, but it takes all of that information into something that's real. This brings a whole new dimension to teaching. It brings what teaching should be. It brings what we should be doing with our kids.